Hi guys, today we'll build a house that will become a perfect home for ghosts. But if we don't get any ghost, Sam will get in trouble. <laughs> I love to blow Sam's wild theories. Ham, actually the CEO of Ghostbusters Inc. can't talk so carefree about wild theories. Let's see how qualified you are. First of all, a ghost won't come into a house with a green lawn like this. Okay, we'll fix it now. Huh, that's better. Guys, Sue already assembled a sweet lavender house like this. Do you remember? I really liked it. Well, I'll try to make a perfect ghost house from this second set. A creepy one, but very beautiful. When Sam sees it, he'll be shocked. Let me know later which house you like the most. I'll help you. There are lots of conditions for the ghosts to move into a house. Sam, don't you think that your ghosts are too picky? We'll decorate this area with stones that I made out of clay. Hush, Roger! I hope that the ghost didn't hear you. Ah! I don't care about your ghosts. If they're going to be too fussy, I'll just kick them out of the house. Firstly, Roger, where are your manners? Oh! And secondly, all the ghosts Typical features are described in our Ghostbusters guide. Sounds serious. Don't worry. I'll tell you everything I know about ghosts. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> sure you will, Sammy. The stone decoration of the lawn is done. Let's continue. Our ghost experts said that they don't like the new floors. That's why we'll try to antiquate them. Great, Roger! I approve the floor! Now, let's take care of the walls! Oh, by the way, I already drew the wooden boards on them. Great job, Sam! Fresh paint does look beautiful. But... There is some sort of charm in shabby houses. Here, we'll install a lamp. And now it's time to decorate our walls. Um, Roger? <sighs> right, Sam. Ghosts don't like perfect wallpapers. Awesome, Roger. You learn fast. You're a great teacher, Sam. Even though ghosts can pass through the walls, we still can't do without windows. Guys, be very careful working with sharp tools. Actually, Sam may sound very persuasive, but I still don't believe in ghosts. Roger, don't make me mad! So what do you say about the white spots that always appear in photos? It's deaf of ghosts that just want to be in pictures as well! <laughs> oh, Sammy! It's just because of dust or insects in the lens. Better check out this cool wall that I made. Yep, Roger. Your wall is almost as perfect as mine. <laughs> oh, that's the best compliment. Guys, this lamp will work thanks to these wires that we'll attach to these batteries. Now let's set the walls. And for the walls to look neat, we'll place the batteries in a special place. Be careful when working with wires. All right, it's time to arrange the furniture. We'll start with the kitchen. Hi, Jar, did I praise you for nothing? Oh. Sam. We need some ghost-style furniture. Well, you're the ghost expert here, not me. Look, I made a ghost-style couch. Very unusual. Sammy, can you give me a couple of hints of what your ghost style is? Easy peasy. 
First, it's elegant. Ghosts don't like fancy stuff or bright colors. Actually, bright colors are trending now. But, okay, so what else? Second, it's minimalism. Ghosts appreciate the beauty of simple shapes. Minimalism is top-notch now. Third, it's the noble old-fashioned. Ghosts are proud of their age. So you just made this kitchen cupboard old? I decorated it in the noble old-fashioned way. Generally, it looks interesting. I guess ghosts won't say no to a coffee table. Huh. It really matches the interior. Approved! Now we'll get to the first floor. We need to fix the chandelier. Since the floor of the first floor is also the ceiling of the ground floor. Roger! Do you feel this cold wind? I guess the ghosts have already come! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just forgot to turn off the air conditioner. 17 degrees! Roger! Sam, calm down! Fine. So, I set two chandeliers and glued the floor. There we go. A house can be super ghostly, but it can't stand without some pillars. And another one. We'll do the same thing on the other side. There we go. Perfect. Guys. Have you ever seen ghosts? Are they really that picky? Roger, not picky, but demanding when it comes to style. Like this. Sammy, how do you like this noble old-fashioned style? Acceptable. I think it's a perfect old fence. Here comes the last detail. And now we'll take care of first floor. Roger! Did you know that cats can see ghosts? I noticed our Fluffy staring at one spot without even blinking. Hmm, maybe he's meditating. Huh. I didn't think about that. Roger, you didn't think this through. How will ghosts enter the house? Well, I thought they can fly. But every ghost will definitely want to check out this stairway. Roger, I need a door that will fit our house perfectly. I'm sure ghosts will appreciate our haunted style house. Of course they will. Ghosts are very sophisticated. They only like beautiful things. Since our ghosts are East Feats, let's add more decor. Our ghosts can read their ghost magazines on this bench. I wonder if they have their own National Geographic. Roger, our house looks empty. Let's have more of a special atmosphere. This floor lamp will help us. Perfect. It would also help add some ghost style light. It's coming out good. Oh, what's this ghost? Oh, guys, did you hear that too? Sammy, you'll be shocked. Wow. Yeah, ghosts are cool. <sighs> well, time to bring our Sam back. <laughs> I got carried away. We need to hide our musical mechanism. Oh, that music enchanted me. Oh, this fence fits in really well. And a little raspy armchair as well. Sammy, do ghosts sleep at all? Uh, during the course, they told us that... Listen, do ghosts wash? Would it be weird if not? Well, in theory, they defo. And what did they do for fun? Did they throw ghost parties? Roger, stop! When a ghost comes, ask it directly.
There's no house without a roof. Sammy, your ghost will defo like it. I guess it matches all your requirements. Uh, I forgot one more thing. Let me guess. Ghosts like old pictures? Uh, this refers to the old-fashioned thing. Point number four says that ghosts are fond of the gothic style. Sue told me about it some time ago. Gothic style is all about dark colors and sharp edges. Huh, that's very high quality work. Roger, you did great. Thanks. I hope the ghost likes it too. <laughs> At least it could show up. Talking about the third point, here's some noble old fashioned styles. There should be lots of plants in a haunted house. Since no one takes care of them. Plants grow like everywhere. Roger, speaking hypothetically... Yes, Sammy? Well, I mean, what if the ghost doesn't show up in the end? What then? <laughs> then I'll have to work hard on my jokes about your crazy theories. <laughs> Hopesie! Our house came out too cool! What if ghosts never show up? Then Roger will be making fun of me all the time! I guess I should summon a ghost in advance. <clears throat> Sammy, don't summon it too early. Otherwise, you'll have to pay for the waiting. But it, it's not a taxi. It can wait. Roger, I just want you to train a little. Uh, by the way, there was a new pink car out there. Look what I did. Wow, Sam, you're a real ghost rider. Let's make our car look even more spooky. What is your idea? To make it look like the car was out here for a while and got covered with leaves and stuff. Oh, I like the way you think. And I really like the broken headlights and window, Sam. Very creative. You're our master decorator. Done. This car perfectly matches the style of our house. So, guys, our stylish mystery house is ready. Now we're just waiting for ghosts. Today we'll make a two-story house with a pool. We'll start with the lighting. This beautiful lamp to be more precise. Hi guys, I've been thinking. Pirates need a rest from the sea too. No doubt. You can't keep sailing and frightening people. What do pirates do on land? Well, I don't know, but you can help me with the craft. There will be many little details like in our other houses. Can you take care of them? Pirate decorator, I love my new role! In the meantime, I'll prepare the furniture for the future house. Everything will be in a marine style. Hop! Usually light colors and natural materials are chosen for it. I need two pieces like this. Voila! Sue, I just remembered the cardboard piano we made! I decided to dedicate my life to rock and roll back then. That was cool. I also remember how fast you changed your mind. This mini piano is awesome. Night, sea, and music. I have a compulsive personality. Check out the flower bed I put inside. Yeah, very creative. But let's continue. There's no mini house without a library. So, who reads books in a beach house? Um, well, I do. I like to read while sunbathing. Holy cannoli, Sue, it'll take forever! Let me do magic! Wow, super speed! Thanks, Sammy! 
Will you help me with the other decor? Sure, since I still got so much furniture to make. Right. I'm going to make a rocking chair. I like retro things in the interior. This rocking chair is one of those. It looks like it's hand-painted. But, Shu, you don't like hand-painted furniture, do you? Um, are you talking about that shelf you painted without my permission? But that was genius! A blue vase and bright accents! Actually, I decided to find a place for books in the house and added some decor. Hmm, I see you're inspired by the marine theme. Yeah, recreation theme mostly. That's why I made something soft. Great, keep it up. I need lots of details for the coffee table. I know, I'm on it. <sighs> right, he knows. Here are the tables ready. Sammy, how's it going with the decor? All done, but there's a lot. I advise you to use magic. Okay. Whoosh, cool. What's next in our plan? All the soft and cozy things, Captain Sue. As Sam said, we're making soft furniture. Shoo, I was reading about pirates. Yeah? Find something interesting? I learned that pirates made lots of geographical discoveries. Yeah, that's right. The most famous pirate explorer was an Englishman, Francis Drake. Fun fact, he was officially allowed to plunder ships of other countries. Yes, Sammy, but now piracy's illegal. I know, I know. I wasn't going to cause mischief. I just wanted to capture some sweets for my stomach. <laughs> Oh, yes. Don't forget to close the Nutella jar when you finish. I'll be the new jar explorer. It's exciting. <laughs> I bet Sam's gonna board the Nutella. <laughs> By the way, I started making the kitchen furniture. First comes the table. Voila. Then the chairs. One and two. And finally, this cupboard for little pretty stuff. I'm always a bit more hungry when on vacation. <laughs> so all the food stuff should be in order in our coastal house. We can cook using this kitchen counter. My favorite seafood is shrimp and mussels. Ooh, I also love seaweed, and Sam's afraid of it for some reason. Because it looks like venom and smells like iodine from the med kit. Of course, they'll <laughs> say that seaweed's very nutritious, but uh, you know what's better? What? Tell me. Me helping you with the craft, of course. Oh, I like your enthusiasm. Take these pieces and start assembling. Oopsie, I didn't expect you to have so much work for me. Ugh. Our house will have two floors. We'll place the bedroom on the first floor. I'm making this bed for it. Hop. Perfect. Let's arrange the pillows. Put a soft blanket, just like on a real bed. <gasps> Talking about bedrooms, it seems like Sam fell asleep assembling the pieces. Wait, wait, two, Tinkerbell. No, oh, Peter Pan wants to fly away. So the shadow to him still kept it off this year. Oh, I'm still running now, guys. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tammy, it's me. I came to check on you and you're sleeping. Come, I'll show you what I made while you were sleeping. Time to put it all together. To it's a home museum of beautiful furniture and neat decorations. Yes, we have everything here. A soft, cozy bed. A dressing table with a mirror and cosmetics. Lots of flowers. Furniture for the bathroom. And even this for creativity and easel with paint. Wow, I'd like to live in this house and give up my pirate dream. Great, then you can calmly finish your work. In the meantime, I'll set the walls. First, let's build a foundation. Our floor will be a bit above the ground level. Now let's decorate it with stones. Here comes the most interesting part. A pool? Hooray! Uh, one question. Why do we need a pool in this coastal house? Oh, that's a good one. What if it's so hot that you want to take a dip without leaving your house? You have a pool right there. Also, you can spill your drink dancing on the waves. By the way, there will be no windows in the house. Only beautiful wooden lattice. Look, the wallpapers are also in marine theme. Anchors, light shades of sea and sand. I can't wait to finish building this house. Be very careful with the wallpapers. I don't want them to come off. It's highly possible in maritime climates. How do you know all these details about humid climates? Actually, I'm a great traveler. Also a pirate. I know everything about sea breeze and the burning sun. Tell me, oh great seafarer, what seas have you sailed? Ah, I remember our expedition to Tibidabo. 
The one where you discovered the land with sweets growing on trees? No, you messed it up. That was the one where we saw the huge whale swimming next to our ship. Oh. oh. They were so big that I was a bit scared. Just a little. Even if true to say, uh, I was terrified. But the people of Tibby Dalla told me that whales are very friendly. I'd definitely be scared, Sammy. Now let's go arrange the furniture and the decor. Guys, while setting the kitchen, I want to tell you an interesting story. Did you know that there were no tables in ancient Greece? Instead, there were long benches where the Greeks would put their dishes. But more importantly, people were not sitting but lying on the floor during their meal. Eating while lying? Huh, I never tried that. Yeah, I don't think you or our viewers should. You could choke on something. Though we're a bit like the Greeks when we eat pizza watching a movie on the sofa. <laughs> I call it lazy watching. I brought some marine-themed decor, a life buoy clock and flowers. And I have more furniture, creating coziness right before your eyes. One can rest in this living room after long walks along the coast. Or after a cool shopping session. I think there's new swimsuits or stylish sunglasses in these bags. Actually, they're design accessories made of shells and pearls. Fine. As you say, Sammy. Here's the base for the second floor. There are three lamps in it. One for each room. All of them have wires. Let there be light. You almost forgot the piano and the plants. They should be right near the pool. Give a thumbs up so the suit doesn't forget things. I guess I forgot about the plants because you remember about them, Sammy. I trust your taste when it comes to decor. I didn't forget about this hanging basket, just as you taught me. You're learning fast, cabin girl. Keep it up and you'll become a captain. Wait, Sammy, you said I was the captain. Now I'm a cabin girl again? Well, I remembered I am the captain. Captain Sam Sparrow! I have an offer for you. Close your eyes and I'll finish the second floor. Hmm, huh, interesting. Let's try. No peeking. I'm a bit shy. All right. Why, a house for a great pirate Sam and a craft. So, shiver me, tutters your peeking. <gasps> Sorry, I was just curious. Not watching anymore. Okay, actually, now you can. Oh, Sammy, you did a great job. suggest hiding the bedroom and the bathroom under the roof. I agree. It's way cozier. No an open-air bathroom. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Sammy, I hope you're joking. I don't think you'd like someone spying you taking a bath. I agree. It always bothers me when Fluffy visits me in the bathroom. He's got those piercing and surprised eyes. <laughs> yes, Fluffy is very curious, just like any other cat. Luckily, he doesn't bother us during crafting. There's so many little pieces.